Hey everyone, I'm Scott Meek and I'm a trainer here at Diesel Laptops. Today I want to talk about an important test that a lot of technicians, dude, I'll be doing so good and then I'll be the skirt. Hey everybody, I'm Scott Meek and I'm a trainer here at Diesel Laptops. Today I want to talk about an electrical troubleshooting test that's often overlooked by technicians, and that's going to be a load test. Now why would we do a load test? There's often times in the field where we're doing electrical troubleshooting and we check the resistance of an individual wire in a circuit, and the resistance can be close to good or maybe what we think is good, but we may need to go one step further and prove if that electrical connection is in fact efficient. So, in order to do that, we'll need a few basic tools in order to perform this load test appropriately. The tools we need to perform this will be a digital multimeter, a test lead jumper set, the appropriate terminal tools, a 12 volt battery, and then, of course, you can use other tools that are designed for load tests, but in this particular instance, we're going to use a halogen headlamp. This halogen headlamp is a 60 watt lamp. If we use Watt's formula, that tells us at 12 volts, we will draw approximately five amps of current through this circuit. So what would lead us here? In this particular circumstance, let's say that we had an input shaft speed circuit fault with an open current fault code. Well now, we're at the point where we need to check the resistance of that circuit to make sure that this harness is in fact connected. So to do that, we're gonna take our digital multimeter and we're gonna be checking pins seven and eight to pins one and two from the ECM to the input shaft speed connector. Now it's important to make sure for safety reasons that we have both sides of this harness disconnected. So we're gonna to wanna to disconnect the transmission ECU connector and we're gonna to wanna to disconnect the input shaft speed connector. Once this is done, we're gonna take the appropriate tools and pin each connector and check resistance. So first, we'll start by going from pin seven over to our pin B of our input shaft speed sensor. Now we're gonna take our digital multimeter and we're gonna set it on the resistance setting, that omega symbol. Then we're gonna simply take one lead, connect it to one end of the harness, the other lead to the other end of the harness. Okay, now that we're connected and we're checking resistance, this particular circuit has two tenths of an ohm of resistance. According to our standards, that is in spec, but we still want to check it with a load test. But before we do that, let's check the second wire in this circuit. Now here you're going to notice that our resistance is a little higher than the previous measurement. This one is 2.2 ohms of resistance. Now technically we're still within spec. But since that's a little higher, and it's a direct connection from pin to pin, that does raise suspicion. So now we want to perform our load test. You want to make sure that you're not sending current in on any sensitive electronic module. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our 60 watt halogen headlamp, we're going to take our 12 volt battery, and we're going to make our electrical circuit here part of the circuit that makes this headlight function. By doing that, this particular circuit is going to flow roughly five amps of current through it. So let's go back to the original pins that we started with to test the first one, which was two tenths of an ohm. Now, to do the load test, all we need to do is take our halogen hand lamp. We need to take one side and go to the positive side of the battery. Now, once we've done that, in order for this light to burn, the only thing that we need now is ground. So to provide that ground, we're going to use the existing harness so the current moves through that and load test that wire. So what we'll do is we'll take the other side of our headlamp and we'll go to the ECM side connector. Then that follows through the harness, comes out of the input shaft speed sensor, where we're going to take our jumper wire, plug in, and then go to ground. Once we go to ground, if this wire is connected and this circuit is acceptable, the halogen headlamp should turn on. In this case it does, we'll wait three to five seconds with the light burning 
Once we get to that three to five seconds, we'll then disconnect. So the first circuit that we tested that had two tenths of an ohm of resistance is good and proven good by a load test. Now let's check the second wire in the circuit that had higher resistance and prove if that circuit is in fact good enough to carry a load. So all we have to do is move to the second pin terminal on each connector and then simply connect to ground again. This time we do it, notice our headlight does not burn. So now that we've load tested the second wire in the circuit and the light does not illuminate, that tells us that even though this circuit did have a resistance of 2.3 ohms, this circuit is not capable of carrying a load. If there's anything in this video that you saw that you'd like to know more about, we'd love to have you at any of our diesel laptops training centers across the United States. Please visit us at www.training.diesellaptops.com for more information. Until next time, thank y'all and happy troubleshooting.